Hello and welcome to France 24's weekly music show. I'm Marjorie Hash. Now this week I have the pleasure of welcoming not one but two guests. On the one hand we have joining us live from Lagos in Nigeria, Ricardo Banks. He's one of the country's biggest rising stars with over two million streams and collaborations with the likes of Wizkid and Vanessa MD. We also have with us in the studio Audrey Bagidi, uh, aka UC, a French singer and songwriter who's collaborated with the likes of Dame Nalban, Noah Gallagher and legendary Afrobeat drummer Tony Allen. Both my guests have released new music recently and it's an absolute pleasure to welcome them on the show. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Friend. We're going to start off with uh, Ricardo Banks. Now, you've just released a new single entitled June to Da. How exciting has that been? I know fans have been waiting for a long time for new material for you. Right, it feels good to be back out uh, with a new song. Um, with sort of message and it just generally feels good to be back out and you know being active and dropping music at this time mm -hmm. and um, your, your music's often been described as um afro pop for, for people who aren't familiar with the genre how would you describe it i guess it's just a blend of uh afro beats and pop music like what's popularly known around the world mm -hmm. as um as pop music, that's just basically what it is. It's a merge of where I'm coming from with, um, you know, what I already see out there. Mm -hmm. I don't hear that. Yep. And your latest track, uh, Jun Tuda, means enjoy life. Uh, why do you feel that was an important message to get across? Precisely, it means it's good. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, yeah, so I feel like. Um, it's a message that has been there all the while and I'm just, you know, retreating and just letting everybody know, you know, the fact about it, about eating good and just enjoying one's life because, you know, this is the only time. I'm... Yeah, only time we get. How about we take a listen to your new track then? Please, yes. A beautiful call to enjoy life. Now, Ricardo, what other themes do you like to explore through music? Um, there are a bunch of themes uh, I'm touching on, especially on my coming album. Um, it's going to be my second career album. It's going to be my fourth project because in between the first album and this one that's dropping, there's been two EPs. And on this album, I'm touching on several topics. I'm touching on some very soulful topics, topics that, um, you know, many people will shy away about or, or stuff. I'm, I'm being vulnerable on the album and, you know, touching on different life subjects. And I really can't wait for everybody to listen and just get a feel of where I'm coming from. Mm, that's super exciting. Really looking forward to that. I uh, want to talk a little bit about you, see who uh, you're from Benin originally, yes. but you grew up in the south of France. Yep. And um, you've worked with uh, one of Nigeria's most famous uh, artists the world over. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. But I'm yep. curious, how did you get into music yourself? Oh, uh, I was, um, was very young, I think, just uh, been uh, surrounded by, you know, music like Angelique Kejo, Manu Dibango, and uh, didn't realize uh, as much, uh, you know, how it was, uh, I was impregnated of, of it. And then, yeah, growing up, five, six, seven years old, just, you know, singing a lot and starting in, in the church, actually. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I kept, kept going with, with, uh, with the... I guess sacred, you know, uh, side of music and and yeah, till uh, got to Paris and started working with with people and yeah, and the road was 
open. Yeah, <laughs> and it's just notably when you arrived in Paris that you met Tony Allen uh, at a place called Les Seagal, a nice venue here. Yes. Uh, he was famous for being Fela Kuti's drummer, yep. uh, but he became in some some sort of ways your mentor mm. and took you on the road. You toured with him for five years. Yeah. I'm curious, what was he like? Uh, he was really himself, means he could be grumpy, you know, the mornings are not his, his, his moment, so he wouldn't be ashamed not to talk to anyone. Mm -hmm. He was saving his energy. Also, I met him at a certain age, you know, he, he was like already 70 when I met him, so he's a guy that is, has nothing to prove, very present, very himself, very, um, has a great philosophy of life very wise and at the same time very crazy, uh, allows everything to be a part of uh, you know, life and he really uh, taught me how to be myself, how to be you know, the, 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 the most true to myself and to the music, you know, mm. I'm really grateful. Mm -hmm. for and you fully embrace stage life as well with him, amazingly. Um, now, you've just released an EP called Tolan, Tony Allen Makes Me High, which is yes. a tribute to yeah. him. Uh, and it also features music that you recorded together. Can you tell us a little bit uh, yeah. what made you want to produce it? Because so he died a few years ago, of course. Exactly. Basically, we were on tour together for years and then we would end up in a studio jamming because, you know, uh, for Tony, it was not always about uh, recording and releasing on, on their labels and all that he really would love to, he, he was loving to go to you know around the world and just be in a studio with different people different groups and um, so we would do that in Paris sometimes in London other 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 times and then I, I realized that I have I had a bunch of songs that we never released the last one actually that um, the first one I wanted to release was Zélie uh, I sent it to him the day he actually passed like few couple of hours before I, I, I said to him the master is there we're releasing it and he was so happy and uh, and yeah yeah, yeah. That happened but yeah. then I promised myself that I will uh, I will release the rest and uh, yeah. I'm so happy we did it yeah and you got his blessing just before so that is such that is, good luck that is yeah. amazing how about we take a listen so to this title track Tony yes. Allen makes me high beautiful celebration of Tony Allen there to be found on the EP Tony Allen Makes Me High. Uh, now back to Ricardo Banks. Uh, now you're very much part of Nigeria's modern day music stars. Uh, what do people like Tony Allen and Fela Kuti represent to you um, and who are your biggest music influences? Um, it feels good first of all to be one of these <clears throat> time and ages uh, um, artists from Nigeria, Africa. I feel like I'm privileged to be to be honest um fella's music tony allen's um influences stay with us forever as as um african artists because they they paved the way they they are like the blueprint of everything that we're doing right now so um i won't be saying so much if i said that they they created all of this that we're that we're um, working with at the moment. So um, nothing they've done is going to waste or is is insignificant. You know, everything that they've done is what we're riding on and building on top of right now. Mm -hmm. And you've also got your own uh, label, so it's a good place for you to showcase the future stars of tomorrow, I believe. Yes, yes. I'm, I'm looking forward to that phase of my life where I get to, you know, um, work with a bunch of stars under my own label and, you know, just make money and make a great impression around the world. Mm -hmm. And Isi, uh, what about you? What's next after this EP? You've got some touring, working with other artists, perhaps? Yeah, I uh, actually have uh, some uh, some tour next year. I am uh, still working, collaborating with uh, all the, the the people I'm I'm working with, Get a Girl, and uh, and uh, um, I have my own uh, solo album coming too, which is more you know more personal this time. There's no no drums, no Tony's drums, but he, he wanted me to you know to go on my own. So that's what that's what I'm gonna do. It's more pop, Afro pop, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So more collaboration 
who knows, maybe, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah just, uh, you know, just keep going because that's, that's what we do. Yeah. So. <laughs> Great. Well, we're very excited for both your up and coming music. Thank, Thank you. you so much to both of you Thank for coming you so on much. the Encore Music Show this week. Best wishes. Um, France 24's latest news bulletin is just round the corner. And remember, you can keep in touch with all our culture news on France24.com and follow us, of course, on social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter. You know the drill. Uh, mm -hmm. We're going to play out with some French pop, actually. Uh, uh, we've known this artist as Christine and the Queens, Chris, and now they are back and going by the name of Red Car, an alter ego, as well as a preference for the he, him pronouns. The pop star, who Forbes magazine once described as one of France's most influential artists, is releasing his third album, Red Car et les Adorables Etoiles, Red Car and the Adorable Stars. Let's check out the latest video, La Chanson du Chevalier. <laughs> 